told you. The North Pole. Of course the elves make the toys. Hey, do you remember when I took you to see Santa at Herald Square? You didn't want to talk about presents. You just wanted some answers about what he does at houses that don't have chimneys. Guess I was always destined to be a reporter. Uh-huh. <laughs> Has Dad been watching the show? You know how busy he is. It's online. He can watch it on his phone. You're trying to pick a fight, but I will not take the bait. It just seems to me, as a journalist, he'd want to do some research before he starts criticizing my work. He isn't criticizing. He just wants what's best for you. Well, if he really wants what's best for me, he could try being supportive. Oh, you won't be satisfied until you've caused some sort of scene in public, will you? Very well, Charles. We shall have a scene. Mom. Your father is not a terribly demonstrative person. That is his way. But he cares. When you interviewed for the job at WHNY, it was his phone call that landed you the job. No. He didn't have to do anything. I was already their first choice. He just checked in. That, that's what he told me. You were their second choice, which is still very impressive. <sighs> Who was their first choice? Do you know? Emily Morgan. No. Why, why, why didn't you? You were dating her, Charlie. What were we supposed to tell you? So your father did what was best for your future. Because he loves you. And you wouldn't be where you are without him. Now, let's find him a nice necktie.